Great greetings, everyone. This is Nat. This is Jim. And welcome to another installment of the SpongeBob Reviews. Today, we're reviewing the Season 8 episode, Planet of the Jellyfish. And this is the uh, first time I've seen this episode. And this is probably like the fifth or sixth time I've seen this episode. Now, before we get to the review, you've hidden the episode's title card somewhere. Find it. You don't win anything. I think they missed a marketing opportunity because this would have been a really good uh, October episode. Because the episode is Planet of the Jellyfish, which is a takeoff of Invasion of the Body Snatchers. Why it wasn't just called Invasion of the Jellians. Ooh, a storm's coming in. Wind's blowing. Cool. SpongeBob and Patrick are out jellyfishing, and there's this mysterious creature hiding in the shadows that can reproduce living things. So it reproduces a jellyfish, and the jellyfish proceeds to make copies of people like Patrick. The fake Patrick and SpongeBob, who doesn't know what's happening yet, give jellyfish clones to all the people in town. And when they're cloned, the real person's in a bubble. And then the other person has these eyes on them. Strange eyes. And through a set of circumstances at the Krusty Krab, SpongeBob determines that they're aliens. He discovers their secret. That they don't like mayonnaise. Yeah, they hate mayonnaise. And he's trying to figure out how to save everybody. And then Sandy comes to the rescue, because Sandy has not been cloned yet. Even though I thought they gave the Jellians to everyone in town earlier in the episode... Oh, they, didn't, they didn't They didn't give one to Sandy. But, but you would think SpongeBob would have mentioned, well, we didn't give one to Sandy, or, hey, well, we weren't able to give Sandy one. Or maybe they gave her one, and that's why she was able to figure out what happened, because ah. she knew about the issue. She knew about, you know, the clones, so maybe they, give it, maybe they did give her one, and she... Um, Experimented uh, was, it or something? Maybe was able to you know, trick it. Or, or just died, because they went into the air. <clears throat> They probably should have explained that a little better, but it's not like a, a real flaw, just a little confusing. Yeah. But anyway, Sandy knows about it, and so her and SpongeBob go to the Krusty Krab and spray mayonnaise on everybody. That being said, there was a funny joke uh, where SpongeBob says he doesn't like mustard, and then the other alien guy replies. That's probably the funniest part of the episode because there isn't really that many jokes. This episode yeah, it's not is really a, a bit more. It's a bit more focused on on building atmosphere and plot. It's it a little gross at the end because the jellyfish you know, explodes. And they turned into this jelly substance that's everywhere. Green goo, which Patrick enjoys eating. And so Mr. Krabs uh, starts selling jelly relish patties. Yeah. Like, ugh. Like Fungus Among Us and Pet or Pets, it has this like unnecessary ending where Mr. Krabs profits off everything. And it's like, why is this the ending to the episode? I mean, they could have just had it end with all of them all in the goo. And then the square being like, I need a shower or something. And then just cut off after that. You know, every now and then there'll be an episode of SpongeBob that said, that I think, you know, this could have been a great 20 minute special. They could have like had it two parts and had a, you know, really, really you know, epic a, climax. Really epic and like the and first, this, this could have been a, like a really great 20 minute, 22 minute, uh, you but, know. Like have the first half be like SpongeBob figuring out everything. And then have the second half be the actual stopping. Yeah, the big battle. It's really ironic for Patrick to say hold the mayonnaise considering his most popular line of all time. So in general, I'm going to give Planet of the Jellyfish three spatulas. And I'm going to give it three clarinets. This episode had the potential to be great, but, but, I, but as it was, it's really good, pretty good. It, it doesn't really have any major problems. Maybe a few little nitpicks, but like nothing too major. And of course, you know, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for whenever SpongeBob does a movie reference. So, so yeah, you should uh, watch it. I really enjoyed it. I think it was a good episode. Yeah, pretty good. Man, I really like zingers.